and the sun is going down. I can actually just went down, so mosquitoes may start attacking me. Um, you're probably going to hear that there's a little bit of wind. Um, oh, the flies. The flies are attacking tonight, not the mosquitoes. And that's probably because where I'm camping, it's on a ridge that has almost no vegetation. Um, I think the cows have eaten it all because there's grazing here. It's uh, BLM land, uh, Bureau of Land Management. Um, and there's no water up here. So maybe it's just going to be flies, not mosquitoes. Um, let's see. So today was the second day out of Rollins and I hiked about 28 miles um, which I had about 19 miles yesterday so I think I had to average 25 a day for the last four days and anything above and beyond that just I can take it off the last day so uh, that means right now the last day I need to hike 22 miles since I hiked 28 today so that's that's fun um, it's not really fun to haha, -ha. it's, it's more of like, I get to go get like resupply quicker, so it's, um, it's easier I guess, like if you don't have to hike 25 miles and then try to get resupply, if I can get it down to, let's say, 16 miles, then, you know, that's, that's a good five, six hours of hiking, um, and, you know, with breaks and like getting water and that kind of stuff. So that's a lot better than trying to, you know, spend nine, 10 hours hiking and then getting to a resupply and having to sort through it. Cause the, the next place is just a, a store. So I'll sort through and keep on hiking. So if I can hike, you know, five or six hours, um, get in, do the sort and then come out and hike two or three more hours, that's, that's a little bit more doable. So me saying that's fun is, it was just lazy, I guess. Um, today was a hot day. Uh, at the end of the day, we did have some clouds come through and gave us a little bit of shade, but if the clouds didn't come through, um, there would have been no shade, to, absolutely no shade today. Um, not even at the water sources. <coughs> there was, yesterday there was one group of shade trees, that's where I had lunch. That was all the shade yesterday, and then today there was none. Um, so when you have a hot day and there's no shade, like I'm sure you can see, like I got a little bit of sun even though I was putting on sunscreen. Um, the I just said okay, no shade except for the clouds. And there was something else I was gonna say and I totally forgot. Oh, I said we. Um, so Mr. Freeze, who I met. Um, going into Steamboat Springs and uh, Chani, C-H-A-N-N-Y, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, I did not meet Chani until after Rollins, and he's hiking with Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is um, from Switzerland, and she was hiking with, well, she was hiking around like Vista and uh, Bex and Ducky and Rockhound before... Um, before Steamboat and then also into Encampment. So um, that's how I met that group. Except for Bex, I met Bex like way down in San Juans and she and I have hiked a few times around each other. So um, Bex are, has already done the Great Divide, so, or excuse me, the Great Basin. So she's she hitched up to Lander and she's already in the wind. So she is, um, is well ahead of me. Um, so when I say we, it was, uh, I was leapfrogging today with Mr. Freeze and, uh, and Chani. Um, let's see. It was hot. There was limited water sources. We had, uh, there was a water cache that a church is keeping up. And so that helped us because the water sources were 15 miles apart. Um, so that water cache they put halfway through. So I was able to get like an extra liter, um, around lunchtime, which was great. Um, so I hit the first water source, um, lugged enough water for lunch, uh, hit the water cache because we couldn't depend on it, picked up an extra liter, and then um, there was a water source about two miles uh, south of here that, um, that was an, it's an electric well that uh, feeds water to cows, but there's a, there's a stream that we could get the water from. So I got enough water for tomorrow. Um, 
I think the first water source was eight miles from the electric well. So I think it's about six miles to the next water source, and then I haven't looked after that. I, for all I know, it could be another 10 or 15 miles, um, which seems to be the case so far. Um, so let's leave the world. So we're lugging water just like New Mexico. Um, it's. If it's hotter than New Mexico, but we were hiking New Mexico, we meeting all hikers were, or most hikers were hiking New Mexico in like April and May. Um, and so the temperatures, I mean, it's spring, so the temperatures were cooler. Like if we were hiking New Mexico now, um, it'd be a lot hotter. But New Mexico was hot. Um, there was shade in New Mexico. I distinctly remember you could usually find like some kind of shade to sneak underneath for lunch or whatever. Here in Wyoming, we're here in late August, or, um, late August, late July, and there's no shade. So when the thermometer and the sun both uh, shoot up into the sky, um, you feel it. It's it's a hot it's a hot day. So I would have to say that, and it's wide open. You can see forever. We were hiking an ascent today and we could see where we were going for first water for like seven seven to ten miles before we got to the top of that um i don't think it was a pass i think it was just a, a ridge or whatever but we could see it the whole way we were hiking um and so yes there are some like mountains here um or foothills but the scenery is wide open here. New Mexico was not that way, and we were doing some up and down down there. So there are similarities, meaning like it was hot, but there are definitely some differences. Um, I also, like people mentioned, oh, wait till you get to Wyoming, you know, you're gonna run across it. Um, I don't know, it's definitely not flat. Like we're still doing you know, ups and downs. It's not the same ups and downs with Colorado by far. Um, and you can get some decent miles. Right now, I'm low mileage just because I'm trying to heal the, the two blisters that were on my right foot. Um, I mean, if you call 28 miles low mileage, but I was expecting to do like 30 to 32s once I got here, so I'm I'm keeping it, I'm trying to keep it low. And yesterday I only did 19, so definitely kept it low. But, um, Sorry, I'm kind of scatterbrained. I'm going all over the place. You can do some good miles in Wyoming. You can see very far in Wyoming. There are some beautiful views here. It is definitely hot. Um, there's, there's no shade. New Mexico, you could do some miles if you were in shape. A lot of us were just getting into shape, so we couldn't do big miles. There's There was some shade in New Mexico, which was nice. We were there in the spring, so the temperatures were hot, um, but definitely not July hot. And um, the water sources in Wyoming are better, like the quality of water is better um, than some of the tanks and cow ponds that we were getting in New Mexico. So there's definitely some differences between the two states. Um, I think the similarity is it doesn't have the elevation of Colorado um, and, and it's hot. We are staying around like seven to 8,000 feet here in Wyoming, so we are higher. We were about 4,500 in New Mexico, um, thereabouts. So we're definitely a little bit higher elevation, and that makes it nice. Like when there's a breeze right now, it's a cool breeze now that the sun's gone down. Um, and the breeze that blows in the day in Wyoming, um, I think helps disguise some of the heat. But as soon as that breeze stops, you're like, oh, it's hot. You're, we're also drinking a lot of water. Like um, Chani and Mr. Freeze made a comment um, a couple hours ago, um, there was two water sources side by side, and they were planning on stopping both of them because, and they were like two miles apart. And they were stopping because they're like, we drank way more than we thought we were going to drink because the wind keeps things, I wouldn't say cool, but cooler than if there was no wind. But you're still drinking water because you're hiking through the, the sun and it's hot. So they were going to uh, dump into the first water source, I think drink a liter of water apiece, and um, then hike to the second water source so they didn't have to lug the extra two miles. Um, I 
wouldn't call Wyoming fun hiking. Like I had fun in Colorado, even though it was raining and there was some, you know, a lot of up and down, that kind of stuff. But I live in Colorado. Um, I think this is an interesting place. Uh, it's new. So uh, I think it's every state has its, you know, little niche in in your heart when you finish your through hike of like what you enjoyed and what was interesting that kind of stuff so i think it'll be interesting to hike through the rest of wyoming we still have the winds which includes two alternates um the cirque cirque of towers i think is the first one hey b um and then the second one is the knapsack coal um and they're both supposed to be absolutely beautiful so they're both in the winds and then after we get out of the winds um we'll hit yellowstone and I've hiked through Yellowstone before, but I was hiking way, way out in the, the back country where Wyoming and Montana, like the border of the park, um, goes back and forth between Wyoming and Montana. And um, I was way out there. So it'll be interesting to hike kind of through the heart of the park because um, we go through, uh, right through uh, Yellowstone Village, or not Yellowstone, Old Faithful Village. Um, so that'll that'll be fun. I think that's about it. Um, I think today's shout out goes to uh, just other hikers. It's always fun when you're leapfrogging um, because, like you'll, especially in a place like this where the water sources are scarce, um, people kind of congregate and run the water sources. So, um, like I was aiming there for lunch, and Mr. Freeze and, and Cheney were doing the same thing. So. When, when I got to the water source, they came up minutes later and we, you know, had a nice chat during lunch and um, got to talk about, like, different aspects of the trail. So, uh, shout out to, you know, leapfrogging with other hikers because um, when you're around other, other folks, it's, it's fun. Um, Mr. Freeze mentioned that, so the town of Encampment, they have Saturday hours for the post office, but it's only open for a half hour. So if you miss that half hour and you got a box in encampment, um, you got to wait till Monday. So Mr. Freeze believes there's a group of hikers, not hiking necessarily together, but a group of hikers that miss that half an hour window. And so she thinks they're probably like a, a day or a day and a half behind us. Um, so some of the other hikers that I'm familiar with could, could be back there just because um, they got hit by that window and didn't get to encampment on time. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if some of those folks catch up and who it is. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, close out. I cook dinner. I just need to eat it. I've already stretched and set up tent and done the water and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's about nine. So I'm going to eat real quick and uh, set up the inside of the tent and then go to bed. So everyone have a nice evening. Um, hope everyone's safe and have a great summer. Thanks for watching the videos and I'll talk to you folks tomorrow.